top ongoing and completed mega projects in Guyana. This is Guyana. It is a small country with big ambitions. And in recent years, the country has embarked on a number of ambitious mega projects, some of which have already been completed and others that are nearing completion. In this video, we'll take a look at some of these amazing projects in Guyana. Starting with Number 13. Guyana Shore Base Incorporated. Guyana Shore Base Incorporated operates a deepwater port and logistics center in Burbis, Guyana. With a cost of more than $1 billion, it is the largest private investment in Guyana's history. The port is intended to provide thousands of employment and promote Guyana's commerce and economic growth. The port is situated on the Burbis River, a vital maritime route for the region. The port can accommodate huge container ships and other boats. Other facilities include a warehouse, a workshop, and a fuel depot. The port is expected to be a major hub for trade and commerce in Guyana. It will help to connect Guyana to the global economy and attract new investment to the country. Number 12. Letham International Airport. Letham International Airport is a new airport in Guyana's Letham. It is Guyana's first international airport, and it is projected to increase tourist and economic growth in the region. The airport is located on the Guyana-Brazil border. It has a long enough runway to accommodate big passenger planes. Other facilities at the airport include a terminal building, a cargo terminal, and a fuel station. The airport is expected to make it easier for tourists to visit Guyana's interior. It will also help to connect the region to the rest of the country and the world. Number 11. Demerara Harbor Bridge. The Demerara Harbor Bridge is a modern four-lane bridge in Guyana that spans the Demerara River. It is Guyana's longest bridge, and it is planned to relieve traffic congestion and increase communication between the country's two major regions. The bridge connects Georgetown, Guyana's capital, to the city of Linden. It is 3.5 kilometers long and has a 50-meter clearance. The bridge will save travel time between Georgetown and Linden by up to an hour. The bridge is a major infrastructure project that is expected to have a significant impact on the economy of Guyana. It will help to improve connectivity between the country's two main regions, which will boost trade and economic development. Number 10. East Bank Demerara Road Expansion Project The East Bank Demerara Road Expansion Project is a project in Guyana to expand and upgrade the East Bank Demerara Road. The road will be widened, new bridges will be built, and drainage will be improved as part of the project. The initiative is anticipated to enhance traffic flow and road safety. The East Bank Demerara Road is a key thoroughfare that links Georgetown to the East Bank of Demerara. The route now has two lanes and is frequently crowded. The project will extend the route to four lanes and build many new bridges. The project is also projected to enhance road drainage, which would aid in the reduction of flooding. The project is expected to have a significant impact on the economy of Guyana. It will improve traffic flow and safety on the road, which will make it easier for businesses to operate and for people to travel. Number 9. Hydropower Plant at Lower Mazaruni River Lower Mazaruni River Hydropower Station is a hydroelectric power station in Guyana, located on the Lower Mazaruni River. The facility has a capacity of 165 megawatts and will generate enough electricity to power about 200,000 households. The plant was finished in 2022. The hydropower plant is a big infrastructure project that will have a substantial influence on Guyana's economy. It will provide a reliable source of electricity for the country, which will help to attract new investment and boost economic growth. The plant is also expected to have a positive impact on the environment. It will reduce the country's reliance on fossil fuels, which will help to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Number 8. Bartica Solar Farm The Bartica Solar Farm is a 10-megawatt solar farm located in Bartica, Guyana. The farm is expected to generate enough electricity to power about 10,000 homes. The farm was completed in 2021, and it is the largest solar farm in Guyana. The farm is expected to reduce Guyana's reliance on imported fossil fuels and help to improve the country's energy security. Number 7. New Marriott Hotel in Georgetown The New Marriott Hotel in Georgetown is a 200-room hotel located in the heart of the city. The hotel is expected to create hundreds of jobs and boost tourism in Guyana. The hotel was completed in 2022, and it is the first Marriott Hotel in Guyana. The hotel is located close to many of Georgetown's tourist attractions, including the National Museum, the Botanical Gardens, and the Stabroke Market. Number 6. New International Convention Center in Georgetown 
George Hun's new International Conference Center is a 2,000-seat conference center in the city's core. The center, which opened in 2021, is Guyana's largest conference center. The center is handy for organizing events since it is adjacent to many of Georgetown's commercial and government facilities. Number 5. New National Stadium in Providence The new National Stadium in Providence is a 20,000-seat stadium located in Providence, Guyana. The stadium is expected to host major sporting events, including the 2022 FIFA U20 World Cup. The stadium was completed in 2022, and it is the largest stadium in Guyana. The stadium is located close to the Guyana National Stadium, making it a convenient location for hosting sporting events. Number 4. New Fire Station in Georgetown The new fire station in Georgetown is a 100-person fire station in the city's core. The station is anticipated to improve Georgetown's fire safety. The station, which was finished in 2021, is Guyana's largest fire station. The station is adjacent to many of Georgetown's major business and residential sectors, giving it an ideal site for emergency response. Number 3. New Police Station in Georgetown The new Georgetown Police Station is located in the center of the city and is intended to increase security and public safety. The station has a capacity of 200 police officers and incorporates a variety of security elements, such as a high-tech security system and a specialized training center, to make the station safer. The station also has a variety of community areas, such as a library and a playground, that are intended to promote police and community relations. Number 2. New Sewage Treatment Plant in Georgetown The new sewage treatment facility in Georgetown is intended to improve the city's cleanliness. The plant can treat 100 million gallons of wastewater per day and is outfitted with cutting-edge equipment to eliminate contaminants from the wastewater. The facility is projected to drastically reduce the quantity of untreated wastewater released into the environment while simultaneously creating jobs and stimulating the economy. Number 1. New Water Treatment Plant in Georgetown The new water treatment facility in Georgetown is intended to increase the city's access to clean water. The facility can produce 100 million gallons of drinking water each day and is outfitted with cutting-edge equipment to remove contaminants from the water. The project is anticipated to greatly enhance the quality of drinking water in Georgetown while simultaneously creating jobs and stimulating the economy. There you have it, a look at some of the amazing mega projects in Guyana. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks for watching.